各位牧长同工，各位弟兄姐妹，大家平安。耶稣的爱激励我们，使我们可以成为别人的祝福。阿门。感谢主，我是青年牧区的玉燕。然后今天呢，要来呃。呃，感谢神，让我们有这么美好的属灵响宴。在这三天里面，神是配得我们称颂赞美的神。阿门。在邀请讲员上台之前呢，我们要来欢迎呃，介绍一下讲员。他是纽西兰海湾城市福音中心的主任牧师康麦克牧师，他也是一位世界公认教导神话语的圣经教师。而且神特别使用他在发预言以及医治释放的恩赐当中，因着他对神的爱、对人的爱，使康麦克牧师可以服侍许多忧伤破碎的人，好不好？这时候我们就用最热烈的掌声来欢迎康麦克牧师以及翻译周训正牧师。Oh, well, thank you very much. 谢谢大家。It's so wonderful to be with you. 很高兴可以来你们中间。I'm looking forward to our time together. 我很期待我们接下来这段时间一起相。I have with me my one of my daughters. 我的其中一个女儿这次也跟我一起来。Her name is Joanna. 她叫做 Joanna. And、uh, my wife sends her love. She's home looking after Joe's children. 啊、uh, ，那我的我的姐妹，我的妻子也跟大家问安，她在照帮忙照顾 Joanna 的孩子。She's being a good nana with the three little boys. 她是做一个很好的阿妈，带着三个孩子。And、uh, for those of you who don't know us, we we have、uh, seven children. 如果你不认识我们的话，我们总共有七个孩子。Twenty grandchildren. 有二十个呃孙子。Very big family. 是一个很大的家庭。Very blessed. 很大的很蒙福的家庭啊。And uh, it's. Uh, It's so wonderful to be with you. 能够与大家在一起，真的是非常美好。And to have a chance to share with you and to、uh, pray with you and to minister to you. 可以跟你们一起分享，可以跟你们一起祷告，是非常非常美好的。We really love coming to this church. 我们真的很喜欢来到灵粮堂。For us, this has been the doorway into Taiwan. 对我们来讲，透过灵粮堂，我们才能够进到台湾。It's been the connection. With、uh, Pastor Jonathan and Yuan, made the way for us to come to Taiwan. 也透过训光牧师、训正牧师，我们可以来到台湾，然后与台湾众教会有连接。We've been coming、uh, two or three times a year now for probably ten years. 我们过去这十年，一年至少来台湾两次到三次。Seen thousands upon thousands of lives transformed. 看到成千上万的生命被改变。So I really want to honor. Uh, Ewan and Jonathan for making room for us to come to this nation. So, I 特别尊荣训光牧师能够让我们有机会可以来到台湾这个地方。Because it was their invitation that made it possible for us to build a connection and some wonderful relationships in this nation. 信着他们的邀请，让我们有这样的一个荣幸，可以来认识这个美丽的国家，也可以建立非常好的友谊。God has given us incredible favor. 神给我们非常大的恩宠。And we've been able to minister to pastors and leaders across the nation. 在这个恩宠当中，我们可以影响这个国家的领袖。To minister to churches. 在教会的领袖跟一些在职场上面的领袖。And, and privately to some of the most influential people in your nation. 我们也影响在这个国家里面一些非常有影响力的人。I've been able to go to people that others would have no access to. 我可以去呃见一些。可能一般人没有办法去见到的一些人。看见神在他们的家里面怎么样触摸他们，影响他们。我们真的非常爱台湾。我非常喜欢来台湾。我们真的非常爱台湾。我们真的非常喜欢来台湾。我们真的非常爱台湾。我们真的非常爱台湾。我们真的非常爱台湾。我们真的非常爱台湾。我们真的非常爱台湾。我们真的非常爱台湾。我们真的非常爱台湾。我们真的非常爱台湾。我们真的非常爱台湾。我们真的非常爱台湾。我们真的非常爱台湾。我们真的非常爱台湾。我们真的非常爱台湾。我们真的非常爱台湾。我们真的非常爱台湾。Every day, the、uh, interpreter would get sick. 每一天，我们第一次来的时候，每一天翻译都会生病。Day after day, new interpreter. 每一天都换一个新的翻译。And I say, hey, what happened to the last one? 我就说，哎，昨天那个翻译怎么了 ？Oh, sick. 生病了。I never see them again. 我就从来没有看过那那些翻译了。And then finally, in the at the end of the first week, I got very sick. Oh, 我自己在第一周的服侍完之后，我也生重病。It's kind of quite embarrassing when you come to bring the power of God to people and you're sick. 你知道你要你你来的目的是要带下神的大能，然后你自己还生病，是有一点感觉不好意思啊。And I just had to push through what was actually just demonic resistance. 我就必须要在当下突破，其实当下那就是一个那个邪灵的拦阻。And、uh, I think about the first three or four visits. I would get sick each time, and so would people around me. 前面三四次来到台湾的时候，我周围的人跟我都会生病
And then we just broke through it completely. 然后之后我们就完全的突破了。And there has never been any trouble ever since. 之后就完全没有任何这样的困扰。Sometimes in our ministry, the Resistance we face, we find is very real. 有的时候在我们的施工当中，我们经历到的那个拦阻是非常真实的。And we just have to have the courage to stand up and face it and push through. 我们就必须要有鼓起勇气，然后来面对，来抵挡，然后来突破。So I just determined that I would not back down. 所以我当时就决定我不会退缩。In my first、uh, week of ministry here. 当我在台湾第一个礼拜的服侍中 ，I think about day four or five, I got so sick I couldn't even speak. 我想在第四天还是第五天的时候，我生病重病到一个地步，是我连讲话都没办法讲。With no voice. 我记得我早上起来的时候是没有声音的。Thank God I did not come here to be sick. 我说主啊，我来到这边不是要生病。I came here to help. 我是来这边要帮助台湾的教会。So I just kept quiet all day. 我整天就都不讲话，很安静。And when it came to t 当我晚上来到聚会的时候 ，immediately I have my voice. 当场我就有了我的声音。I finished speaking. 当我讲完道之后 ，no voice， 又没声音了。<笑> And then there's hundreds of people to pray for. 然后之后要服侍几百多个人，要为他们祷告。And、I said, "Well, Lord, I will not back down." 我说主，我不退缩。Help me. 帮助我。And He showed me a key to releasing the power of God without me having to speak. 他就让我学会到一个关键是，不用透过我讲话可以释放主的大能。So we're always learning all the time. 所以我们总是在不断的在不同的阶段不断的操练学习。And I hope to be able to share with you things that will really help you. 我希望在这这段时间可以跟大家分享真的能够帮助你们的东西。Okay, so our theme then is deliverance and ministering deliverance. 所以我们主要要谈的是释放释放的施工。And since all of you have、uh, had some foundations in this area, 我相信我们当中的人基本上都有一些这些基础的教导。I want to more focus on removing demonic houses. 我要比较专注今这一次的分享是在于怎么样挪开这些坚固营垒、仇敌的坚固营垒。Just the casting the demon out. To looking at the structures that demons live in, we are not just to look at how to get rid of it. We are going to go up further. What are the structures that demons live in that can be broken down? So, just as a way of leading into that, we'll just look at、uh, something Jesus taught on deliverance. We need to enter this teaching. Before we look at Matthew chapter twenty-eight, let's look at Matthew chapter twenty-eight. 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 对不起，是马太福音第十二章第二十八节。Matthew twelve twenty-eight. 马太福音第十二章第二十八节。And、uh, in verse twenty-eight, Jesus said, "If I cast out demons by the Spirit of God, surely the kingdom of God has come upon you." 二十八节说，我若靠着神的灵赶鬼，这就是神的国临到你们了。So we notice as Jesus is teaching about deliverance. 我们知道耶稣在这边教导我们关于释放。And he brings out several things. 这边他讲到几点。Number one. 第一个。Deliverance is a manifestation of the kingdom. 释放是神的国的彰显。So it's the kingdom of heaven coming into the earth. 是神的国临到地上会产生的结果。It's the authority of Jesus、uh, establishing itself in someone's life. 是耶稣的权柄建在建构在一个人的生命当中会产生的结果。It's an advancement of God's kingdom. 是神的国侵入的一个结果。By overthrowing. Demonic kingdoms. He, 神的国侵入，然后推翻邪灵黑呃黑暗权势的国度。So deliverance is a manifestation of the kingdom of God. 所以释放是神国的彰显。Jesus said to pray for the kingdom to come. 耶稣教导我们要祷告他的国降临。So when you are doing deliverance, 所以当你在做释放施工的时候 ，it is really kingdoms in conflict. 其实我们在讲到的是国与国的相争。It is a superior kingdom and king displacing an inferior one. 是我们看见这个更有权、更有权柄的这个国跟这个国王，他把那个没有权柄的国王给赶走。The power to make this happen is the Spirit of God. 第二个，这个经文告诉我们说，能够赶鬼的那个释放的能力是来自于神的灵。You can't do this work except by the Spirit of God. 我们没有办法进到释这样释放的施工里面，除了借着神的灵。It requires the anointing and power of the Holy Spirit. 我们需要圣灵的高抹跟能力。And for that to happen. 
。如果要让这个事情发生， requires a person to exercise faith. 这个人必须在信心里面使用这样的权柄。So one of the things I want to do with you， 所以在接下来的这几天当中，我想跟大家分享的 ，working with the Holy Spirit， 也是教导大家怎么样在圣灵里面一起来运行，跟圣灵一起同工。Deliverance is not about methods， 因为释放讲到的不是方法。It's helpful to have a process。Or a way of approaching deliverance. 当然，我们有这样的一个法则或者是一种方法是有帮助的。But we should not depend on it. 但是我们所依靠的不是方法跟步骤。We should depend on the Holy Spirit to help us. 我们所依靠的是圣灵来帮助我们。You can't do the deliverance work without the Holy Spirit. 没有圣灵，我们就没有办法进到释放里。So your own relationship with the Holy Spirit is vital. 所以我们跟圣灵的关系是非常关键的。If I, by the Spirit of God, cast out the demons, 如果若靠着神的灵赶鬼 ，so the power that you need working through you is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. 所以你所需要运行在你身上的能力就是圣灵的大能。And that comes by faith. 那是借着我们信，借着我们的信心来领受的能力。We need to learn how to listen to and respond to and work with the Holy Spirit. 我们需要学会怎么样聆听，然后回应，然后与圣灵一起同工。So constantly in your ministry, you need to be listening for the Holy Spirit. 所以在我们的施工当中，我们必须要常常聆听圣灵在说什么。And we'll talk a little more about that later on. 我们之后也会更多来谈这一点。You notice the next thing he teaches here: if I cast out demons. 这边说，我若靠着神的灵赶。So、deliverance requires a person to confront the spirit. So, 释放的施工需要有一个人去面对这样的一个邪灵。You, you can't just pray for God to do it. 你不能祷告求神来做。You yourself need to confront the spirit. 我们自己必须要来面对这个邪灵。If I, by the spirit of God, I cast out demons by the spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. 我如果靠着神的灵赶鬼，这就是神的国临到你们了。So we see now in the dynamic of doing deliverance. 所以在这个释放的施工的过程中 ，it requires a person to work with the Holy Spirit. 需要有一个人愿意与圣灵一起同工 ，exercise faith. 然后使用他的信心 ，speak and directly confront the demon. 然后对这个邪灵直接的说话。And when the Spirit of God works with them. Then the kingdom of God becomes established. 当神的灵与他一起来运行的时候，神的国就临到这个人生命里面。So when we're doing deliverance, 所以当我们在做释放的时候 ，we need to be sensitive to and working with the Holy Spirit. 我们必须要敏锐而且与圣灵一起同工。And we'll talk a little more about that in another session. 我们在另外一堂会更多的来讲这一点。We're just giving some foundations now. 我们现在只是在立一些根基。Now look over to verse forty-three to forty-five. 我们来看第四十三节到四十五节。And Jesus said, "When the unclean spirit goes out of a man, he goes through dry places seeking rest, but finds none." 污鬼离了人生，就在无水之地过来过去，寻求安歇之处，却只却寻不着。Then he says, "I will return to my house from which I've come, and when he comes, he finds it empty, swept, and put in order." 于是说，我要回到我所出来的屋里去。到了就看见里面空闲，打扫干净，修饰好了。Then he goes and takes with him seven other spirits more wicked than himself. They enter and dwell there, and the last state of the man is worse than the first. 便去另带了七个比自己更恶的鬼来，都进去住在那里。那人末后的景况比先前更不好了。这邪恶的世代也要如此。Now notice some things that Jesus speaks here. 你要来看这边耶稣所说的一些的东西。What he is sharing is extremely important. 耶稣在这边所分享的东西是非常关键的。Because he's helping us to understand the invisible spirit world. 因为他帮助我们可以明白我们肉眼所看不见的这个灵界。And he also identifies a problem with deliverance. 他也帮助我们明白在释放当中、释放施工当中可能遇见到的问题是什么。And the issue that he identifies is the one we want to focus on. 他所讲的这个问题。When the unclean spirit goes out of a man, he goes through the dry places. 污鬼离了人生，就在污水之地过来过去。Or he walks through dry places. 或者在污水之地里面走来走去。So Jesus is describing what happens after the person is delivered. 所以耶稣在描述的是当一个人得着释放之后所发生的事情。This is of concern for you as a small group leader or cell group leader. 这作为一个小组长或者是做教会牧养的领袖们。What happens to the person after they've been set free? 当一个人得到释放之后怎么办 ？We need to understand that there's a spiritual dynamic happens after deliverance. 我们必须要知道当释放之后整个灵界的状况是什么。And the problem is. 
so many people focus on doing deliverance, they miss the bigger picture. 很多人的问题是什么？他专注在释放的那个过当下的过程当中，却失去了整个。整个的 cast, 整个意向 ，casting out the demons is only a part of the work。你知道释放施工当中的赶鬼只是其中一小部分而已。Our main work is discipling people to follow Christ。我们最主要的工作是要让人跟随耶稣做主门徒。Deliverance is about removing the spiritual forces that hinder the person。释放的施工讲到的是把那个拦阻那个那个黑暗权势拦阻他的那个力量挪开。But we have to do more than just remove the demon。但是我们所要做的是不只是把魔鬼赶出去而已。And here's why。这边告诉我们为什么。Jesus said, "When the unclean spirit goes out of a man." 他说污鬼离了人生。So in other words, after deliverance, the spirit is forced out of the person。换句话说，在释放赶鬼之后，这个鬼被赶逐出去。And the question is raised, "Well, what happens to the demon?" 那我们会问一个问题，就是那个鬼去哪里了？ Firstly, we notice that it walks. 第一个，我们看到这边它会走来走去。Demons are low-level spiritual beings. 你要知道，以灵界的角度来讲，邪灵是在最低层次的一个阶段。They are quite limited and confined in their activities. 他们能够做的东西，他们能够行的事情，其实是很受限的。So when someone exercises deliverance, the demons are literally forced out. 所以当我们进到释放施工里面，邪灵就被赶逐出去。And then they walk through dry places. 他们就在无水之地走来走去。Or in other words, they move to where there is no anointing of the Holy Spirit. 换句话说，他们去到的地方是没有圣灵的恩膏跟运行的地方。They rapidly exit. 他们立刻就离开。But they seek rest. 但是他们需，他们想要去找安歇之处。So evil spirits. Constantly seek somewhere to live. So, demons are constantly looking for a place to live. They seek a dwelling place. They are looking for a place to live. 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 They are They want to gain access to some place they feel at home in. They want to get into a place that they feel at home in. So the demon is looking for another spiritual home. So the demon is looking for another spiritual home. So the demon is looking for another spiritual home. So the demon is looking for another spiritual home. So the demon is looking for another spiritual home. So the demon is looking for another spiritual home. So the demon is looking for another spiritual home. So the demon is looking for another spiritual home. To increase their hold and destruction in the person's life. So their goal, their goal, is to get into a person's life, and then through getting in, destroy that person's life. So you notice it's seeking someone to get into. So you notice it's seeking someone to get into. So you notice it's seeking someone to get into. So you notice it's seeking someone to get into. So you notice it's seeking someone to get into. So you notice it's seeking someone to get into. So you notice it's seeking someone to get into. So you notice it's So you notice an evil spirit has personality. So you notice an evil spirit has personality. It's a spirit being with a mind to think and and an ability to make decisions. This evil spirit is able to think, to make decisions, and to make decisions. It has the ability to speak and communicate. It can speak and communicate. So it's an invisible spirit being. It's a spirit with a mind that can't be seen. With the ability to think. To plan to speak. This spirit is a mind. It has ideas, thoughts, and thoughts. It can make decisions. It's like you're de- dealing with a hostile spirit being. So we're dealing with a hostile spirit being. So we're dealing with a hostile spirit being. And notice what he says: "I will return to my house out of which I've come." He says, "I will." He says, "So he will say, 'I will return to my house out of which I've come.'" So the spirit can remember. The person they came out of. So, demons, these spirits will remember them from who they were taken out of. The demon is a legalist. You know, the demon is very strict on the law. Notice what he says: "My house." He says, "This is my 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 house." He says, Uh, look for a legal right to establish entry to a person. So, the demon will find a legal, legal, legal part, a legal right to get into a person's life to influence him. We'll come back to that and develop that shortly. This later we'll talk more about this concept. So, the demon looks at this man. So, the demon looks at this man and says, "This is my house." He says, "This is my house." Now the Bible tells us that our body is the temple of the Spirit. 圣灵告圣经上告诉我们，我们的我们的身体是圣灵的殿。We, we are redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. 我们是耶稣的宝血买赎回来的。We belong to Him. 我们是单单属于耶稣的。
So your body is the house you live in. So your body is the house you live in. And you invite the Holy Spirit to come in. Then we invite the Holy Spirit to come in. So your house becomes the temple of the Holy Spirit. So our house becomes the temple of the Holy Spirit. So our house becomes the temple of the Holy Spirit. So our house becomes the temple of the Holy Spirit. So our house becomes the temple of the Holy Spirit. So our house becomes the temple of the Holy Spirit. So our house becomes the temple of the Holy Spirit. So our house becomes the temple of the Holy Spirit. So our house becomes the temple of the Holy Spirit. So our house becomes the temple of the Holy Spirit. So our house becomes the temple of the Holy Spirit. So our house becomes the temple of the Holy Spirit. So notice what it says. Here, when you come to Jesus, 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 when you come So an evil spirit can locate the person they came out of. So, so you can imagine from the realm of the spirit, 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 from the realm of the It remembers who he came out of. He will remember who he came out of. And can relocate him again. And can relocate him again. He 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 can relocate him So until then, they are earthbound spirits that look for people to gain access and destroy. In that time, they are walking on the earth, looking for people to steal, to destroy, to kill. They are looking for people to steal, to destroy, to kill. They are looking for people to steal, to destroy, to kill. They are looking for people to steal, to destroy, to kill. They are looking for people to steal, to destroy, to kill. They are looking for people to steal, to destroy, to kill. They are looking for people to steal, to destroy, to kill. They are looking for people to steal, to destroy, to kill. They are looking for people to steal, to destroy, to kill. They are looking for people to steal, to destroy, to kill. They are looking for people to steal, to destroy, to kill. They are looking for people to steal, to destroy, to kill. They are looking for people to steal, to destroy, to kill. They are looking for people to steal, to destroy, to kill. They are looking for people to steal, to destroy, to kill. They are looking for The word empty means on holiday, loitering, not productive. 空闲的意思就是让你在去度假的时候没有生产力，没有在做任何事情。So,、uh, and the word、uh, ordered means literally to look good on the outside. 打扫干净的意思是外面看起来是很干净的。Now, here's a disturbing thing to realize. 这个是有一个是令我们非常困扰的一个事情。When when we look at people, 当我们看人的时候 ，we only see the house they live in. It's like a veil that covers the person. That 那个房子好像是一个幕，好像是一个一一个幔子，我让我们没有办法真的看见那个人的光景。The Bible tells us that he is a spirit being with a soul living in this house. 因为圣经告诉我，我们是灵，然后我们有魂住在这个身体的屋子里。So the spirit sees us differently. 可是邪灵看灵看见邪灵看我们的时候是不太一样。When we look at a person, 当我们看人的时候。We just see the outside. We 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 just see the outside. From the spirit world point of view, the real man is visible. From 灵界的角度，你真实的那个人是邪灵看得见的。And the evil spirit can assess the person's condition. 然后邪灵可以来看见到这个人真正的光景是怎么样。I was doing deliverance one time. I had a man come with me. 有一次我在做释放施工的时候，有一个弟兄跟着我一起来。And it was quite a difficult deliverance. 在当下所做的这个施工，在当时这个赶鬼是蛮蛮艰难的。The demon manifested strongly and began to threaten me. 然后那个邪灵就开始彰显，就开始威吓我。And I I stood up against it. 我就站起来抵挡他。And then it it did an unusual thing. 他就做了一个很奇变、很奇特的事。And turned or backed away from me. Then that person just turned away from me. And he turned and looked at the man who had come with me. Then that person turned and looked at the man who had come with me. And I saw him look, and then he laughed. 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 I saw him look, and then he
able to do this ministry. 我就说，哎，你现在不太能够跟着我一起做这样的服饰了。You haven't established your authority properly. 因为你没有建立你的权柄。It was quite a shock for me to realize that the demon could recognize the person's condition. 所以当下我就突然觉得非常压抑，邪灵竟然能够看得清他的灵里面的状况。So if we're going to maintain deliverance and move a person into freedom, 所以如果我们要进入到这样的一个释放施工里面，带领人进到真正的自由 ，we must ensure that the root issues are dealt with. And the demon has no grounds to re-enter. We must help that person to solve his root problem, so that the demon has no grounds to re-enter. We must help that person to solve his root problem, so that the demon has no grounds to re-enter. We must help that person to solve his root problem, so that the demon has no grounds to re-enter. We must help that person to solve his root problem, so that the demon has no grounds to re-enter. We must help that person to solve his root problem, so that the demon has no grounds to re-enter. We must help that person to solve his root problem, so that the demon has no grounds to re-enter. We must help that person to solve his root problem, so that the demon has no grounds to re-enter. We must help that person to solve his root problem, so that the demon has no grounds to re-enter. We must help that person to solve his root problem, so that the demon has no grounds to re-enter. We must help that person to solve his root problem, so that the demon has no grounds to re-enter. We must help that person to solve his root problem, so that the demon has no grounds to re-enter. We must help that person to solve his root And they work together to increase the bondage in the person's life. They work together to increase the bondage in the person's life. They work together to increase the bondage in the person's life. They work together to increase the bondage in the person's life. They work together to increase the bondage in the person's life. They work together to increase the bondage in the person's life. They work together to increase the bondage in the person's life. They work together to increase the bondage in the person's life. They work together to increase the bondage in the person's life. They work together to increase the bondage in the person's life. They work together to increase the bondage in the person's life. They work together to increase the bondage in the person's life. They work together to increase the bondage in the person's life. They work together to increase the bondage in the person's life. They work together to increase the bondage in the person's life. They work together to increase the bondage in the person's life. They work together to increase the bondage in the person's life. They work together to increase the bondage in We must deal with the root issues in the person's life. We must deal with the root issues in the person's life. We must deal with the root issues in the person's life. We must deal with the root issues in the person's life. We must deal with the root issues in the person's life. We must deal with the root issues in the person's life. We must deal with the root issues in the person's life. We must deal with the root issues in the person's life. We must deal with the root issues in the person's life. We must deal with the root issues in the person's life. We must deal with the root issues in the person's life. We must deal with the root issues in the person's life. We must deal with the root issues in the person's life. We must deal with the root issues in the person's life. We must deal with the root issues in the person's life. We must deal with the root issues in the person's life. We must deal with the root issues in the person's life. We must deal with the root issues in the person's life. We must deal with the root issues in the person's life. We must deal with the root issues in the person's life. We must deal with the 有一个非常有趣的经文，耶稣问这样的一个问题。And、uh, it says、uh, in Ephesians chapter four， 在以弗所书第四章那边告诉我们说、uh, ，It says, Let him that stole steal no more, but rather work with his hands, he may be able to give to him that has need。他说，那那些过去偷窃的不要再偷了，但是他双手要殷勤的工作，可以供应那些有需要的人。So, so this is what Jesus is saying。所以耶稣在讲的是什么呢？ It's not enough for the thief to stop stealing. 那那个过去是偷窃的，你停止偷窃还不够哦。He needs to have a change where he becomes willing to work and to give. 他必须要改变，而且要亲手做正经事就可以有余。Let him, let him that stole stop stealing, rather work and give. 过去偷窃的不只是停止偷窃，还要有劳力亲手做事啊。So you notice for the thief. His freedom comes not when he stops stealing, but when he's giving. So, so, 对于一个偷窃的者来讲，他的自由不是来自于他停止偷窃，而是当他愿意分享出去、给予出去的时候，他才经历真正的自由。Stop lying, but rather speak the truth and love to one another. 不只是弃绝谎言，而是要个人说诚实话。So it's not enough to just deal with or confront the negative. The person must move their life. To starting to embrace kingdom life. So, not only is it about stopping those negative behaviors, but it is about turning to the positive, embracing those positive changes that are happening in their lives. Or another way of putting it, there is no neutral position. In other words, 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 there is no neutral The person needs to be established so they're walking with the Holy Spirit. So we must teach them that when the spirit from this person's body gets out, we must teach them that they can walk with the Holy Spirit. That there's real change in their life. Let's have a look in Luke chapter 11. 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 Let's have a Luke chapter eleven. Luke chapter eleven, verse twenty. And verse twenty. The verse ten. If I cast out demons by the finger of God, surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. 我若靠着神的能力赶鬼，这就是神的国临到你们了。Now notice what he says in verse twenty-one and twenty-two. 我们来看第二十一节跟第二十二节。When a strong man, fully armed, guards his palace, his goods are at peace. But when one stronger than he comes upon him, he overcomes him. Takes from him all the armor in which he trusted, and divides his spoils. 壮士披挂整齐，看守自己的住宅，他所有的都平安无事。但有一个比他更壮的来，胜过他，就夺去他所依靠的盔甲兵器，又分了他的赃
So in this, Jesus, the context is deliverance. Jesus is talking about this context. Jesus is talking about deliverance. Jesus identifies some things. Number one, a strong man. Jesus is talking about some things. First, there is a strong man. Number two, armor. Second, armor. Third, armor. He says, if you want the person to be free, remove the armor. He is talking about if you want the person to be free, remove the armor. He is talking about if you want the person to be free, remove the armor. He is talking about if you want the person to be free. Who prevails over an area of a person's life? Strength is a spirit that in people's lives has overcome a certain area of this person. For it could be an example, a stronghold of rejection. For example, it could be an example, a stronghold of rejection. For example, it could be an example, a stronghold of rejection. For example, it could be an example, a stronghold of rejection. For example, it could be an example, a stronghold of rejection. For example, it could be an example, a stronghold of rejection. For example, it could be an example, a stronghold of rejection. For example, it could be an example, a stronghold of rejection. For example, it could be an example, a stronghold of rejection. For example, it could be an example, a stronghold of rejection. For example, it could be an example, a stronghold of rejection. For example, it could be an example, a stronghold of rejection. For example, it could be an example, a stronghold of rejection. Stronghold is a mindset. 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 So when a person, for example, has got a deep root of rejection in their life, 如果有一个人他有很根本的一个被拒绝的问题 ，it is a stronghold. 在这里面，他有一个被拒绝的一个。It's a way of thinking about life. 心思意念一个坚固营垒。And every interaction with life, the person interprets it through the stronghold. 所以他人他跟所有的互动，他的解读都是透过这个坚固营垒来看世界。I'll give you an example. 给大家一个例子。Suppose、uh, two people are standing talking. 假设两个人他们面对面在交谈。And the pastor walks into the church. 然后牧师走进到教会里。And、uh, he's very busy. He's preoccupied thinking about the next thing he must do. 那个牧师非常的忙碌，所以他走进来的时候就一直在一直在想他接下来要做什么。And the two people say, "Hello, pastor." 两个这人转向牧师说，牧师好。But he doesn't hear them, and he just carries on. 那牧师呢？没有听到，所以他就继续往前走。And one of them thinks. 其中一个人这样想。Oh, he's busy. I'll catch him later. 啊，牧师很忙，我等下再去找他。The other one thinks. 另外一个会怎么想 ？He doesn't like me. 他不喜欢我。This man doesn't like me. I knew it. 我就知道牧师就是不喜欢我。He doesn't like me. 他不喜欢我。He's got something against me. 他就是讨厌我。And all through the service, they're all stewed up. 然后整这个整个崇拜，它里面就是很多的那种心情。The more they think about it, the angrier they get. 越想就越气。And the whole worship service is ruined for them. 整个主日崇拜，他就没有办法进入。They can't get out of their mind. The pastor reject me today. 他就没有办法不去想今天牧师拒绝了我。Now you notice that both men had the same experience. 你要知道这两个人都有同样的一个经历。But each interpreted their experience differently. 可是这两个对他们的经历的解读是很不一样的。One had no root of rejection. 其中一个他没有这一个被拒绝的坚固营垒。Oh, obviously he didn't hear me. He's busy. 啊，他没有听到了，他忙。It's okay, I'll catch him again. 没关系，我之后再找他。The other one, 另外一个 ，He didn't want to hear me. 他不想听我讲话。Okay? The other one, he same experience. 同一个经历哦。Okay? But but when you ask the question, what does that mean? 当你问他说这是什么意思 ？It means he doesn't like me. 那个意思是说他根本就不喜欢我。I knew he didn't like me. 我就知道，我就知道他不喜欢我。And so the person's emotions get stirred up. The stronghold gets stirred up. 所以那个几乎营垒被就被挑旺激旺起来，它里面的那种情绪就起来了。And the demon constantly torments them. 然后这个邪灵就不断的用这种方式去搅扰他。So what Jesus is saying， 所以耶稣在讲的是什么 ？Is that the the spirit of rejection is the strong man exerting influence on his life？ 就是这个被拒绝的被拒绝的灵，其实就是这个壮士在影响这个人的生命。And the armor is what conceals him or protects him from being cast out。那那个盔甲就是保护这个邪灵，让他不会被赶逐出去的。The armor。Are the root systems of bondage in the person's life? 那个盔甲就是那一个在坚固营垒是怎么样在他的生命当中有有根的。And the key way that demons gain access is through deception. 那其中一个邪灵可以进到我们生命当中的一个主要的方式就是透过欺哄。The person believes a lie. 当人相信谎言的时候 ，and the demon hides behind the lie. 然后邪灵会隐藏在这个谎言的背后。So, if a person has a root of rejection, 如果有人他的他他基本的问题是被拒绝的话 ，there may be a spirit of rejection. 可能背后有一个被拒绝的灵 ，but there's also a lie. 也后面也有可能是一个谎言 ，and there's also some emotional pain. 可能过去也有一些的也有一些的伤痛的经历 ，and there may be some experience they had where it's come in. 
，然后或者是有一些的经历，使这一个可以进到他生命里面。So what Jesus essentially is saying is this. 所以耶稣在这边告诉我们的是什么？ Remove the structures that the demon lives in, and you can easily get it out. 你要拆毁这个邪灵所居住的那个架构，你就很容易可以把它赶逐出去。Remove the armor or the defense system of the demon, and it's easy to deal with. 你把他的盔甲先拆毁、挪开之后，要赶他。就很容易了。So in our ministry, we should not just focus on cast the demon out. 所以在我们的施工当中，我们不只是专注要赶鬼而已。But work with the person to find out the the structures that the demon lives in. 我们可以跟那个人一起同工去了解这个邪灵他所居住的那个架构是什么。Remove the demonic house. 然后我们把邪灵所住的架构先拆毁。Nowhere for the demon to take hold. 然后之后邪灵就没有东西是可以他抓住的。Remove the demonic house. 拆毁那个邪灵所居住的房子。There's nowhere for the demon to grip on. 邪灵就没有东西可以抓紧。And so it has no place to come back in again. 以至于它之后就没有屋子是它可以再回来的。So if you cast out a demon of rejection, 当你赶逐出一个拒绝的灵 ，but the person still believes the lie, I'm unloved and unwanted. 他如果仍然，可是你把拒被拒绝的灵赶逐出去，可是这个人仍然相信这个谎言，说我不是被爱的，我不是被接纳的。After a few negative experiences, soon the demon will come back in again. 再一次经历几个负面，他认为的负面的经历之后，邪灵就很容易回来了。So deliverance is not just casting out demons. 所以释放的施工不只是要把鬼赶出去而已。It involves us ministering to the person and dealing with the strongholds that allow the demon to sit there. 所以我们也要去服侍这个人，要处理他生命当中的坚固营垒，因为是坚固营垒让这个邪灵可以进来的。So to do that, we need to identify what they are and how they work. 所以要能够做到这个，我们必须要知道这些坚固营垒是什么，然后他们是怎么样运行的。So in ministering to people, we want to find out what are some of the structures the demon used to occupy and hold them in bondage. 所以在服侍做释放施工的时候，我们要知道他们所居住邪灵所居住的那个架构是什么，是什么东西让他可以抓住人的生命。So that raises the question then: How do demons gain entrance to people's lives? So we need to ask a question: How do demons gain entrance to people's lives? How do demons gain entrance to How do they gain entrance to people's lives? Now, different deliverance ministries approach this in different kind of ways. 不同的释放施工会从不同的角度来切入来看这个问题。Some don't even look at the root systems. 有些人甚至不看那个最根本的问题。I think this is a mistake because once the demon's gone out, it will come back in again. 但但是我觉得如果不看他们原本的问题的话，这是一个错误，因为赶逐出去之后，邪灵还是会回来的。Different ministries have different ways of looking at it. 所以不同的施工会有从不同的角度来看邪灵怎么进来。But in the end, it will come down to the same thing. So number one group is legal rights. So the first one to enter people's lives is through legal rights. Legal rights means sin. 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 Legal A legal right means the demon has a right under spiritual law to occupy the person. 合法的权利代表的是邪灵，他有着合法的权柄，因着属灵的法则，他可以进到这个人生命里面来影响他。Authority to be able to go there. 他有权柄可以进到他的里面。And that authority has been given to them because the person sinned. 那那个权柄是因着这个人犯罪之后而给予邪灵的。So for example, in Ephesians 4:27, 举例在以弗所书第四章第三十七节里面告诉我们说。Ephesians 4:27, 在以弗所第四章第二十七节里面告诉我们说。Give no door or room for the devil. 他说不可给魔鬼留地步。Give no foothold to the demon. 不要给魔鬼留任何的空间。And the word door or foothold is the Greek word topos, meaning a legal ground. 那个地步，它是希腊文 topos， 意思就是一个合法的空间。So don't give a legal ground for an evil spirit to enter. 不要给仇敌魔鬼一个合法的空间，让他可以进来。And we'll explain what some of those are later. 之后我们会讲这些罪是什么样的罪。Uh, so a major door that demons use are legal rights. 所以最主要魔鬼进到我们生命里面的方式，就是透过这个合法的权利。When when we walk in God's order or the guidelines, or when we walk in the law of God, 当我们行走在神的法则当中、神的原则里面的时候 ，we live under blessing. 
我们是活在祝福里。When we break the law of God， 当我们当我们违背了神的法，神的律法，其实是有结果的。We reap what we've sown, and demonic spirits have legal right to access. 我们会收我们之前所种的邪灵就有合法的权利可以进到我们生命里面。So a little later, we'll demonstrate that Jesus at the cross dealt with legal rights. 之后我们会讲，耶稣在十字架上，他已经解决了这个合法权利的问题。所以，当我们服侍人的时候，我们要处理这个合法的权利，让仇敌魔鬼在这个人生命里面没有任何的地步。其实要做的方式也非常的简单。Of traumatic experiences. 第二个主要的邪灵进来影响人的方式是透过一些呃惨悲呃悲惨的经历，或者是一些一些不好的经历。Trauma, traumatic experience. 是非常不好惨痛的经历，伤痛的经历。A trauma is an emotionally painful or shocking experience. 这样的一个伤痛的经历，讲到就是在他情感当中一个非常令他伤痛的一个经历。It could be an accident. 可能是。呃，一个意外，或者是一个很让他惊吓的一个经历，或者是在长期在压力当中。所以，这样的一个创伤的经历会带给那个人生命身心心灵的一个影响。所以，这样的一个创伤的经历会带给那个人生命身心灵的一个影响。很多的时候，邪灵就使用这些的经历进到人的生命里面。所以，有时候，当你在 Trying to help a person. 举例来说，当有时候我们要帮助一个人的时候 ，you'll find there's a traumatic experience with pictures and memories, and the demon is locked in on that. 你会发现在它里面有些伤痛的经历是有图案的，是有回忆、有记忆的，然后仇敌魔鬼就会把把他自己绑在这些当记忆当中。Then a third major area. 第三个主要邪灵进到我们里面的方式是什么 ？Personal reactions. To trauma and pain, 就是当我们面对到这些惨痛的经历的时候，我们的回应 ，personal reactions， 我们的回应，我们的反应。When a person is hurt， 当一个人受伤的时候 ，they usually react and try to control the pain。他们常人通常会尝试要回应，要来控制他们的疼痛。They try to control their life， 尝尝试要控制他们的人生。And in attempting to control their life, 当他想要控制、要掌掌握他的人生的时候 ，often they create legal grounds for demons to come in. 在这个过程当中，常常会给仇敌合法的地步，让邪灵可以进来。So my experience in working with people, 所以我自己在服侍的经历当中告诉我说 ，indicates that all of these are connected. 这三个东西其实都连在一起的。Legal rights, trauma. Reactions. 合法的地步，然后这些惨痛的经历，这些伤痛的经历，跟我们对伤痛经历的回应是绑在一起的。So when we're working with a person, 所以当我们在服侍一个人的时候 ，working with a problem in their life, 我们在处理他们生命当中一个问题。We need to be thinking of the legal rights, the traumatic experiences, and the internal reactions. 我们要思考的是合法的权利，然后这些呃伤痛的经历，还有他们对伤痛经历的一些的回应。We'll talk a bit more about these. 我们之后会更多的来谈。And then I'll give you a kind of a step-by-step step way you'd look at a person's problem to try and analyze what the issues are. 然后之后我会给大家一个步骤，让大家可以透过这样的一个方式，可以帮助我们更清楚理解他生命当中的问题是什么。Okay then. Now,、um, one of the thing when demons get into a person, 你要知道当邪灵进到一个人的生命里面的时候 ，they create a number of problems inside them. 会带来一些的在它里面的一些的问题。And、uh, they they tend to affect different areas of a person's life. 而且它会影响这个人生命当中的不同的领域 They affect uh, sometimes. Uh, so these are the areas that get affected. 那在人生命当中的这几个领域是会被邪灵影响的 Number one, they may experience spiritual manifestations. 第一个，他们可能会经历一些呃灵界的一些的彰显 So if a person has got, for example,、um, bad dreams, tormenting nightmares. Spiritual manifestations that are obviously wrong, you know, it's a cultic or a, a, there's a spiritual root. 假设比比比如说，他可能会做噩梦，或者在梦里面有很多很可怕的东西显现。你知道这是灵界的一个彰显，你知道它的根源是一个错误的根源。Evil spirits also affect the mind, the thought life. 
。邪灵其实也会影响我们的心思意念。With thoughts that keep prevailing. 有一些负面的想法不断的不断的在我们里面得胜。Evil spirits affect the emotions. 邪灵其实也会影响我们的情感。Emotions that rise up that can't seem to be managed. 有一些情绪会突然浮现出来，是我们没有办法掌握的。Evil spirits affect the body. 邪灵也会影响我们的身体。With sicknesses that don't seem to be able to respond. 带带一下疾病是我们没有办法回应的。And evil spirits affect a person's life with、uh, cycles. Or patterns of failure. 邪灵也会影响这个人的生活，透过一个不断循环的一个挫败的模式。Now,、uh, how does this work in a person's life? 那这个这样的方式是怎么样运行在这个人身上的呢、uh, ？I want to just explain and help you understand the dynamic of it. 我想要透过这样的方式，能够先跟大家解释。And we just look at、uh, just a, just a few scriptures. 我们再看几处的经文，可以帮助大家更深的理解。And、uh, look, we'll start off first of all. With、uh, Ephesians three twenty, 我们来看以弗所书第三章第二十节。And、uh, Ephesians three and verse twenty, 以弗所书三章二十节。The working or operation of demonic spirits in strongholds creates energy inside people. 邪灵跟这个坚固营垒的运行，其实会带给人里面一个能一一种一种能力能量。But the Holy Spirit also creates energy in us. 但是圣灵也是在我们里面带出一个能量，一个能力的。So, so for example, let me just give an example. 我给大家一个例子好了。Here's an example. 给大家一个例子。When a person gets angry, 当一个人生气的时候 ，you feel angry. 你感觉生气，对不对 ？It's like this enormous energy inside you. 感觉里面有好大的一股力气要出来，力量。It's a negative energy. 而且那是一个负面的力量。When a person is depressed, 当一个人沮丧的时候 ，they feel this pressure and energy around their life, which is quite negative. 他们感受到在他们的生活、生命周围有一个力量，好像在压制他们，是一个很负面的力量。When a person uh, is uh, being tempted to sexual sin, they feel this passionate energy inside them. 当人们当人们受到这些情欲上面的诱惑试探的时候，他感受到这种情欲的那种。从那种力量在他的周围。So I want to show you just two sides of the coin here. 我要跟大家讲，这这这是两种运行，其实是一样的。The first one we find in Ephesians chapter two and verse two. 第一个是在以弗所书第二章第二节那边告诉我们的。It says,、uh, "You were dead in trespasses and sins. You once walked according to the course of this world, the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience." 你们死在过犯罪恶中，他叫你们活过来。那时你们在其中行事为人，随同今世的风俗，顺服空中掌权者的首领，就是现今悖逆之子心中运行的邪灵。That is what it says here. Spirits work in people. 这边说什么？在我们心中运行的邪灵。The word work is the word energeo, from which we get the word. Energize. This working is from the Hebrew word energeo, which means we give it energy, let it be excited. So when a demonic spirit is inside a person, so when a demonic spirit is inside a person, it releases strong negative energy into them. 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 It releases strong A strong energy into people. 邪灵会释放一个强非常强大的能量在人的生命里。Pressures them. 然后会压制他们。Pushes on them. 会捆绑他们。Pushes on their mind. Pushes on their emotions. Pushes on their will. 压制他们的心思，压制他们的意念，压制他们的生命。So when a demonic spirit is operating, 所以当一个邪灵在运行的时候 ，there is literally a flow of energy. Now to have a look in Romans chapter seven. 我们来看罗马书第七章。Romans seven. 罗马书第七章。Romans seven. 罗马书第七章。Yeah, verse five. 第五节。When we were in the flesh, sinful passions which were aroused by the law were at work in our members to bear forth fruit to death. 因为我们属肉体的时候，那因律法而生的恶欲就在我们肢体中发动，以至于结成死亡的果子。So、notice that says something at work inside us. 这边说，在我们里面发动了。Sin works in people. 罪会在人里面发动。The word work means energize. 那个发动的意思就是给予能力啊。So evil spirits 
energize people. So, spirit in it will act, will give us energy. Bring pressure, negative energy into their life. Bring pressure, negative energy into their life. Bring pressure, negative energy into their life. But sin also does the same thing. Sin. 罪也是做同样的事情。So sin, when sin is working in a person, 所以当罪运行在人的生命里面的时候 ，it creates negative energy. 它也会带来这个负面的能量在我们的里面。So you notice in trying to describe the spiritual effect of sin and demons. 所以当我们在尝试要描述罪跟邪灵所带来的一个影响的时候 ，it uses the word energize. 圣经用这个字来描述，就是给予力量。So, so when demons are operating or sin is operating， 所以当邪灵运行或者是罪运行在一个人生命里面的时候 ，the person experiences strong pressure and energy flow inside them that's very negative。那个人人会在里面感受到一个很大的一个能量，可是出来释放出来，可是那个能量是一个负面的能量。You can't overcome it by willpower。我们不能够通过人的意志力胜过这个负面的能量。Spiritual energy。因为这是一个属灵。Sin releases spiritual energy in us. 罪会释放属灵的能量在我们生命里面。It's something living inside a person. 这个能量是一个活着运行在人的里面。Something that works in you, constantly demanding more and more. 是运行在你里面的一个力量，那个力量要求要更多、更多、更多的释放出来。Demonic spirits release negative energy. It works in people. 邪灵也会释放这个负面的能力，也是运行在人的里面。So when a person is under the influence of sin and demonic spirits, there's this massive spiritual energy. Pressuring their life. So, when a person is under the influence of sin or demonic spirits, he has a very strong spiritual energy pressing on his life. So, if we are going to deal with the demonic spirits, we need to remove the sin and remove all of that negative energy. We need to remove all of that negative energy. We need to remove all of that negative energy. We need to remove all of that negative energy. We need to remove all of that negative energy. We need to remove all of that negative energy. We need to remove all of that negative energy. We need to remove all of that negative energy. We need to remove all of that negative energy. We need to remove all of that negative energy. We need to remove all of that negative energy. We need to remove all of that negative energy. We need to remove all of that negative energy. We need to remove all of that negative energy. We need to remove all of that negative energy. We need to remove all of that negative energy. We need to remove all of that negative energy. We need to remove all of that negative energy. We need to remove all of that negative energy. We need to remove all of that negative energy. We need to remove all of that negative energy. We need to remove all of that negative energy. We need to remove all of that negative energy. We need to remove all of that negative energy. We need to remove all of that negative energy. We 充充足足的成就一切，超过我们所求所想的。So now it's saying for a believer， 所以对一个基督徒来说，这边告诉我们 ，there is a power also that works in us for good。有一个是正面的一个力量在我们的里面，是运行在那里的。It's the same word energize。这个运行也是跟那个同样之前所提到那个运行是一样的。The power that works in us。Is the power of the Holy Ghost? In our 里面所运行的那个力量是圣灵的大能。In other words, one work of the Holy Spirit is to energize our life. 换句话说，圣灵其中一个工作就是要让我们的生命得着这样的一个能力。To impart in us strength to overcome. 让我们有一个力量可以来胜过这一切。Notice what Paul's prayer is in verse 16. 我们来看第十六节，保罗所做的祷告是什么 ？You might be strengthened with might in the inner man through His Spirit. 接着他的灵叫你们心里的力量怎么样刚强起来 ？So it must be possible there for us to be strengthened with might in the inner man by the Holy Ghost. 所以一定是可以的，我们可以借着神的灵叫我们心里面的那个能力刚强起来。The word strength means greatly increase in vigor. 那个刚强的意思是大大的加增强壮。Strengthened with might, that's the word dunamis, miracle power. 那个刚强就是那个 dunamis， 就是带着极大的能力。So what he's saying in here is this. So he's saying in here is this. That even though sin creates negative energy, 虽然罪带出一个负面的能量 ，that leads to isolation from God， 让我们远离神。And even though demons create negative energy， 虽然邪灵会带下这个负面的能量 ，we have something else that energizes us for good. 但是我们有另外一个能力，另外一个能量是让我们带出正面的生命，就是圣灵的大能。It's the power of the Holy Spirit. 是圣灵的大能。So the Spirit of God, 所以神的灵 can energize us to get great victory over any area of our life. 可以让我们生命的每一个领域当中刚强起来得胜。Look what it says in One Thessalonians chapter two. 让我们来看呃，天堂路加前书第二章。And we read in verse thirteen. 我们读到第十三节。For this reason, we thank God without ceasing because you received the word of God. You welcomed it not as the word of man, but as the truth, the word of God, which effectively works in you who believe. 
，因此我们也不住的感谢神，因你们听见我们所传的道，传神的道就领受了，不以为是人的道，乃以为是神的道。这道实在是神的，并且运行在你们信主的人心中。There's, there's that word again, work. 这边再讲一次，再一次提到运行。The, the word of God can. Energize your life. 神的道可以给予你生命极大刚强的能力。The word of God can greatly energize your life. 神的道可以大大的加增你生命能力。So we see now that there are sources of negative energy, sin, and demonic spirits. 所以我们知道负面能量的来源是罪跟邪灵。And there are sources of energy for victory. It's the power of the Holy Spirit and the Word of God. 但是我们知道那个正面让我们可以得胜的能力是来自于神的灵，还有神的话。So if I'm going to help someone come into freedom, 所以如果我要帮助一个人进到真正的自由里 ，I need to remove the sources of negative energy. 我需要除去这个负面能量的来源 ，deal with the issues of sin and the trauma. 处理他生命当中的罪跟那些惨呃伤痛的经历 ，remove the demonic spirits. 处理把赶逐那个邪灵赶逐出去 ，but will pass. Power enough is not enough to walk in victory. 但是，一人的意志力是不够让我们能够行走在得胜里的。It's not enough just to exercise willpower. 使用我们的意志力是不够的。So so often, what we tend to try and do. 很多的时候，我们尝试要做的是什么 ？Is we try to get people. Oh, stop doing that. Do this. Do this. Do this. 我们说啊，你不要再做这个了。做这个，做这个，做做那个。But what is needed is the person needs to be energized with life. 但是那个人他里面需要有生命的能力进到他的里面，才能够做这些事情。They need to know how to activate and be strengthened in their inner man. 他需要他知知道他灵里面的人怎么样能够刚强起来。And they need to know how to be energized by the word of God. 他们只需要知道怎么样透过神的灵、神的话语在里面刚强起来。So whereas their lives were characterized. By defeat. So, 过去他的生命是在挫败里面 Now their lives become characterized by the power of God and the Word of God. 而现在他们的生命是充满了神的灵的大能跟神的道的能力 And I always ask this kind of question. 我常常会问这样的问题 How do you get the Word of God to energize you? 你怎么样让神的道能够让你的灵刚强起来呢 ？The Bible says that's what it does. 圣经上告诉我们说，神的道有这样一个功能。But how can my life be energized by the Word of God? 但是我的生命要怎么样借着神的道刚强起来呢 ？How can my life be energized by the Holy Ghost? 我的生命怎么样能够借着神的灵刚强起来呢 ？So it's not a matter of just dealing with the negatives. 所以我们要做的不只是处理那个负面的东西挪开而已。Bring people into life. 我们要带人进到真正的生命里。So don't think just of deliverance as we cast out the demon. 所以当我们想释放的时候，不只是要赶鬼而已。Think of it as we Move them out of a place of negative life flow into a place of life in God. We are taking them from the negative flow of life into a place of life in God. And、转向那个连接到生命的能量的源头。Casting out a demon is just one part of that. 所以赶鬼只是其中一个部分而已。So in in bringing the person into freedom, 当我们更深的带这个人进到自由里面的时候 ，My goal is to uncover what is creating negative energy in it and confront it. 我的目的是要先找出什么能源来，什么什么源头给予他那个负面的能量，然后处理那个源头。Lead them into a life where the power of God is flowing. 然后带他们进到一个生活模式，是神的大能。Energized with the life of God, 让他们被神的生命完全的充满，刚强起来。And we want to know how to do that. 然后我们要知道怎么样可以这样做。How to identify and remove the roots? 怎么样能够，怎么能够发现它的根本问题是什么 ？And how to bring people into a place of life? 然后怎么样带他进入到那个生命的源头里 ？When people are in a place where they're energized by the Holy Spirit, 当人们进入到圣灵的大能使他们的灵刚强起来的时候 this, ，This is what the Bible says. 圣经这样的告诉我们。The law of the spirit of life in Christ sets me free from the law of sin and death. 生命的律释放我从那个罪跟死亡的律啊。In other words, I need to be in a life flow in God. 换句话说，我要需要活在神的生命的大能里面才可以啊。Not just trying to cast my demons out. 不只是赶鬼赶鬼而已。I need to transition out of being in bondage and darkness and come into a place. Of life and strength. 我要从过去是在黑暗辖制的里面、捆绑当中，进入到一个生命自由的里面。So we just this is the process called discipleship. 这就是我们所谓的门徒训练。Moving people into a place where their life is vibrant in God. 就是带他们进入到一个地方，使他们的生命在神的里面是活跃的。And you'll find when you're working with people, usually they just want you to take away the pain, fix them up. 
。很多的时候，当我们在服侍人的时候，你会发现人，人他们只要我们把那个问题解决，或者是让他的伤痛挪开而已。Is to bring them into life in Christ. 但是我们的目的是要带他们进到神，进到在基督里面的那个生命的源头的里面。When there's life in Christ, 当他们经历到生命基督 power of God， 基督的生命里面，你会发现那个生命的源头，那个生命的运行能力就会运行在他们生命里面。Just come, 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 come. Okay. Oh, just this very simple. Just finish with this. Okay, just look at me this way. Okay. Now I want you to put your hand out towards me. That's right. Take my hand. I need someone behind her right now. Now, God wants us to be able to bring His life to others. 神渴望我们可以把他的生命带到别人的生命里。It should not be hard. 能够释放主的生命不应该是很困难的事情，是一个非常容易的事情。Close your eyes right now. 你把眼睛闭起来。And just in a moment, the presence of God will come on you. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. 主，我们感谢你的同在，现在临到他的身上。Presence of God. 神的同在。So in other words, don't just try to fix a problem. Bring them to the source of life. 换句话说，我们不只是在解决他们的问题，要带他们来到生命的源头。Don't just try to get rid of demons. 不只是在赶鬼而已。Bring people into a place of life in Christ. 带人进入到基督的生命里。And we'll show you some ways of doing that. Let's come. 我们就跟大家来讲怎么做。来。Come. That's right. Come here.、Uh, there you go. Come. Just take my hand. Bye. Okay. Close your eyes. 眼睛闭起来 Close your eyes. Just open your heart to receive. 把你的心向主打开 And presence of God. 神的同在来 Just touch it like that. So we believe for God's presence to come. 我们相信神的同在可以领到 We're called to carry the presence of God. 神呼召我们要带下神的同在 See. So have a vision for people carrying the presence of God. 你要想象神的百姓带着神的同在释放出去 Rather than living under demons. 不只是他活在邪恶邪灵的辖制里面，他们要开始带着神的同在 We're often so negative in the way we think about things. 那很多时候我们想我们的想法是很负面的 So we think, oh, got demons, got to fix them up. Oh, 有邪灵，所以我要赶快解决他邪。But think that people are made for God's spirit. 但是你要知道，人的人受造是要让圣灵可以居住的。So we want them to be carriers of the presence of God. 所以我们不只是要解决邪灵的问题，是要让他们能够带着神的同在。To have a life that God fills. 让他们的生命是被神完全充满的。Before they were under demonic influence. 过去我们是在邪恶的辖制里面。Now they're under the influence of the Holy Spirit. 现在他们在圣灵的影响。Presence of God. 充满当中，神的同在在。Come, just take, let me take my hand. Okay, close your eyes. 眼睛闭起来 Holy Spirit, come on, come on, come on, right now. 这里来 Hey, we can just open ourselves to the presence of God. 我们就是把我们自己向神的同在敞开 So, I always want to know how does this happen. 我总是想知道这样的方式是怎么样来到的 How do you build then a life that God lives strongly in? 你怎么样能够建构你的生命，让神的同在可以居住在里面 Hard. It must be easy. And I want to help you in that part of it as well. 我也要在这个方面能够帮助大家。So we、we'll、start to look at some, what are the things we look for that we need to confront. 所以我们会开始学习，是我们需要面对的问题是什么根本问题？ Them, 我们怎么样解决那个邪灵的问题？ How do we begin to build people's life in God? 然后我们怎么样能够帮助人建构他们的生命是在基督里？ So they move from being demonized to being filled and spirit empowered. 而他让他们可以从过去被邪灵。影响邪灵辖制，到被圣灵充满，带着神的同在。Demons, 如果你只透过赶鬼的方角度来思考释放的话，你就会很兴奋，每次看到有鬼就去赶他。Heart, 但是如果我们从神，从神的角度来看，是要让人被圣灵充满的。Then our desire is not just to confront the demons. 那我们当我们从神的角度来看，我们就不是只是要来赶鬼。Life and what they experience. 而是带他们进到跟生命的源头相交的那个地方。Amen. So let's take a break、Amen. now. 好，我们现在休息一下。We'll carry on the next. 好，下一堂我们继续再来谈。好，我们谢谢康麦克牧师。那我们现在先休息大概十分钟的时间。我们十点半之后我们就回到这里。谢谢。